Hello. Today we will add animations to a character using an animation tree. We are continuing with the simple third person controller we made in the last tutorial. You can watch that video here. Make sure that under the model you have looping animations looped and press reimport if necessary. We will select the hero scene and right click and select editable children under character. Add an animation tree as a child. Make sure the animation tree is a child of character on the same level as the animation player, or the animation tree will not work correctly, and the animations will not change from code. Under Tree Root, we will pick Animation Node Blend Tree. We will assign the animation player to the animation tree. Click Add Node and Add a Transition. Connect it to output. We will call this transition in air. For X fade times, we will select 0.2. This is the time for transition between animations. We will have two inputs, false and true. We'll add an animation and connect it to true. This will be jump, and we will use it if an error is true. When you click on the film reel, all the animations in the assigned animation player will appear in a drop down menu. We will add another transition for if an error is false and call it movements. On here, we will select between movements that we can have if the character is not in the air. For this tutorial, we will add two states on here, idle and walk. We will add and select the animations for these. We will select active on the animation tree. As you can see, the character is now running the idle animation. Make sure that everything is connected. We will go to the script for hero. In the code under if not is on floor, we will add here character slash animation tree dot set. For the first parameter, we will type quote parameters slash in air slash transition request. It will pop up as a suggestion. And for the second parameter, we will put true in quotes. This will select the jump animation when we are off of the ground. Down here in the hero script, we will add if is on floor. And under this, we will put character slash animation tree. Parameters in air transition request false. Then we will add under this. If input dir dot x does not equal zero, or input dir dot y does not equal zero, Character slash animation tree dot set parameters movements transition request and to walk. 
If we are getting input from the player to move, we will be walking. Then we will put an else, make sure it is under the second if. We will put character slash animation tree dot set. Parameters, movements, transition request. And idle. Make sure this is lined up with the second if. Now when we run the scene, the character has appropriate animations for idle, walk, and jump. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please like or comment below. Subscribe for more Godot 4 content.